my people. Hmm. So now, no, only does not care whatsoever it is his wives are doing. Neither does he care what they think, what they feel, or what they want to, <laughs> you know, concern them. So technically, the only is telling us now that you people should fight. Why I and my wife we enjoy, we have a very good time, we have a very good moment for ourselves. So now, no, <laughs> we had only have stormed Akure, and you know that any time the only goes to Akure like this, it is for something very, very vital and crucial between him and Olori Naomi because the only no they just work out like that. Yes, the only the only he's not that kind of person that you will find him just moving around because he wants to move around. So the only has gone to Akure. Yes, because remember that Oni and Olori Naomi are proposing a a vacation. But right now no, from what we gathered that vacation might not be as feasible as people think it will happen chapter because the Olojo festival just finished. And, you know, it was even the only himself that even had to ask Olori Naomi that now that the Olojo is over, let's focus on the things we wanted to do. That's a clear proof. That's a very, very clear proof that the only knows what he wants. And at the very long run, he knows exactly what he is going for. Only it's not this type of people that today they are here, tomorrow they are there. What he says is what he does. You know, when the only was beginning to be that king who is overlooking a lot, he's overlooking so much. Was it not the same woman of Elifa that called him and told him that, see, we would really, really appreciate if you are the talk and do king. If you say it and you do it. I think you know that what's making this thing more interesting. When they told the only, please be the talk and do king. What did he do? He decided to act the talk and do on his wives. He did not let them get away with their fallacy. He did not let them get away with whatsoever it is that they felt they could do. Yes, they felt it was right for them. And right now as we speak, my people, these matters are beginning to be quite big. But the only does not care. See, when a man wants happiness, it should not be so, he should not be asking too much from life. When a man decides that, I want to be happy. Yes, happiness is, is genuinely what I want. They should not make it look like he is asking to take over from God. Every man deserves to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. Everybody has a chance at happiness. And that is the same thing that the only is asking for. Because after a very, very long day, after a long day of rulership, after a long day of having the whole community problems, the whole problems of the elef, every single thing put together, and then he's coming back to the problems of his wives, he's coming back to the issues of his home again. Is it not too much for him? And this is a human being, though. This is a human being. Yeah, it's not like he is one God or any single thing. Forget the fact that he communed with the gods and all of those things. He is a human being. So do we, do, does his wife consider that part? Well, you see, the only is now being deliberate about his happiness. He's being deliberate about what him, as a king, he wants. And it is indeed something that what he deserves some accolades for it. Yes, he deserves. Because right now, if we would want to say the truth, if we ourselves would want to say the truth, believe me or not, you would understand that the only have tried. Is he ignoring? He has ignored. Is he overlooking? He has overlooked. What exactly has the only not done to prove to his wives that there is a point to which what you are supposed to stop? But, but this woman will categorically tell you that hey, we are not that type of person. No, we are not those people that you would feel we will stop and then we stop. Hmm. My people, at the end of the day, only willingly paid the dowry of all of this woman. So he, he has his cross to bear. He has <laughs> these problems to carry. But let's all be realistic. Now that only have chosen happiness, we just hope that all of these women would give him that room to live his happy life. Because now that he have chosen to, to be with Naomi, it has become a thing for them to fight. You know that this woman's problem, it does not, it does not go far from Naomi and the only. That is always their problem. It, it revolves around that. Once a matter has to do with a living Naomi like this, hey, ah, quare, they go shout, they go do this one, they go do that one. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, 
all of this thing still remains the same. It still remains what they only want. It still remains what revolves around. Because see, if you don't want to check and weigh the options right, why did they only stop Naomi from getting a divorce when she wanted to? Because when Naomi discovered that these women were fighting too much, whatever these women were doing was just to just just to spite on her, just to make sure that whatsoever it is that she, Naomi, has as an advantage to return back into the part that doesn't happen. Naomi said, okay, well, let me what? Leave. <laughs> there are how many wives in the palace? See, if Naomi leaves today, those women will find another person because the only will definitely what? Get to go to another person and they will find another person. And then the, the potentials were beginning to be that if Naomi leaves today, it might be what? Elizabeth. Because you know now, out of all of these things, Elizabeth remains one of the most calm persons in the palace. Very, very calm. No issues, no complications. She's just there. And when she rejected IVF, hey, everybody was just shouting that, ah, ah, this woman is good, oh, she no get wahala, oh. You understand all of those kind of things. But now, everything don't scatter for everybody. And no matter how this matters get, my people, know that owning happiness is very, very relevant. Oni's happiness is very, very relevant. And if Oni decides to be happy today and he says that Olori Naomi is the source of my happiness, I feel these women should give him the chance to be happy. Because now that he has gone to Akure, they will not even allow him do whatever it is that he wants to do there. Then they will start calling him that. You have a kingdom to rule and your people are here where you left your people. Although that's why at most times when Olori Tobi asked for vacations, the only could not follow her to Paris to go and do that vacation with her simply because what he is a king and he has a kingdom to rule. Yes, he is a king and, and he has a whole kingdom under him. He has a whole kingdom to what? To control. He has a kingdom that is what? Looking up to him. From what we even got to know was that there are other kings from subdivisions that report to the only. So now you might think that Aon is just one small king. He's not a small king, go. Aon is a very, very big king. He is not a small king. That is a big catch here. So now Aon is in Akure. Yes, he's in Akure. And he went to see Naomi. Yes, you should know. He went to see Olori Naomi. So my people know, Aon <laughs> wants to be happy. They should give him the chance to be happy. Aon is a human being. He's a human being like all of us. So they should give the Aon the chance to be happy. His wife should allow him. His wife should let him be. His wife should let this man do what he feels he can do. Because right now, they are telling, they are making it seem like it is so, so wrong for him to, to aim at the point of saying, I want to be happy. Don't my people know. 